here's the rabbit runs. I call this the Hanoi Hilton. Basically, it's four foot wire walls, rabbit wire, that's one by two inches, and chicken wire roof that's somewhat flat. Used to have a nylon net roof, but what we found is, as you can see, the leaves caved in the chicken wire and the netting roofs, and then the snow caved them in even worse. Uh, we wire these uh, hutches in so that the rabbits have a run and a hutch they can come into. Okay, so here's a good example. Nice hutch off the ground, a ramp they can get up onto, or, or a box they can jump up from a box, and then a 10 foot by 5 foot or 7 foot run for them to use. But the roof is, is hard to keep, caves in. Now I got the bamboo up here to frustrate the raptors. They look from up above in all these trees. They get up here and they sit like right on that branch up there. And they will stare down here. But they see all this bamboo and they decide not to try it. So here's some more hutches that were wired into the run. And then around the corner we have my new hutch. My, or my new rabbit run. Now this is an outside 2x4 frame with the inside wire supporting uh, supporting the inside wire. Now in this we have it's 10 feet by 10 feet square and we've split it in half so we have half of it for this breeding buck. By the way the First four feet. First four feet are uh, rabbit wire. That's one inch by two inch. And then on top of that is welded wire fencing, which is two inch by four inch. And the roof is also two inch by four inch welded wire fencing. Then we put the plastic roof back there over the hayloft. The rabbits can climb up on something to get underneath the hayloft and then they feed from that alfalfa at will. We also throw in vegetables and we have feeders for pellets. Here's our water uh, bottles but they're of course frozen up right now so you can see in there we use those little crockery uh, water dishes in the winter time. I just have to go knock the ice out and pour steam and water in there for them. It'll last a little longer. So, uh, of course, uh, you can't see it real well, but here's a, a door from right here down to two feet off the ground is a door about, about two and a half feet wide. Now, that's all put together with J-clips, or I think they call them C-clips, and uh, zip ties. Uh, basically I put it together in, in each wall is 10 feet long and it folds in half so this whole thing has been moved several times uh, but uh, th this will hold well it's now holding one buck over here and two does over here it's really one third of it and two thirds of the space the two does will have their litters in here and they'll share the space with their litters and the little bunnies will be just fine in there to living together until they get mature and then when they're 12 weeks old we have to separate out the bucklings and I put them in something like this or I have another one that's a little bigger until they sell we uh, can't sell them till they're 8 weeks old they're mature when they're 12 weeks old so we segregate the sexes, keep the females all together in the run, put the bucklings over there. Can't put the bucklings with the mature buck because he will fight them and maybe kill them. And then we sell them 
uh, by before they're 20 weeks. If we haven't sold them by then, they go in the freezer. So there you have it, the modular extendable rabbit run with the alfalfa hayloft and the roof, and it and it's completely impervious to rabbits, raptors, raccoons, foxes, even snakes. The way to make it impervious to snakes is right down here where I've got the little fencing. All you need to do is put some of that nylon netting about a foot up from the ground. From the ground to about a foot up. And uh, any snakes that go in that get caught in it just like in a gill net and they die. So uh, this is real secure for them and, and they like it. They get to run around. They're not running around a whole lot right now because it's pretty cold out here. So there you have it. Much improved over the Hanoi Hilton approach I have here. We're going to dismantle that as soon as it gets warm. And uh, recycle the wire to make a grow out pen for the little buckling. I'm also going to keep the bigger of the hutches and, and, and put them over here on, th on this end. Uh, for segregating rabbits if we have to segregate them for some reason.